Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 69-72 carryover league, interleague play. We got the North going across, the American League and National League North. Let's look at the standings. Um, the American League North has really struggled this year. However, here we go. These first place Ohio players won game one of this series at home in Ohio. Uh, increasing uh, their lead to two full games over the Tigers. Even the lowly Indians who were five and fourteen and just been really unlucky. They're still just five games back. So, but this whole division has just been awful. Meanwhile, the National League, the Reds are like playing with the uh, rest of the National League uh, Central there. Um, Pirates, astonishingly, a game under five hundred. We can't figure that one out. That's ridiculous. Cardinals, yeah, and the Cubs. So the Cubs, uh, their, their season is on the brink here. They need to win a series soon, and they're five and nine, five and a half behind the Reds. They're playing at home in a game two, best of three format. If they win at home, we go back to game three in Ohio, Ohio players, in Dayton, Ohio. Today's starting pitchers for the Ohio players is Al Downing. And for the Chicago Cubs, it'll be Milt Pappas from Wrigley Field. Let's get going. Johnny Jeter leads off for the Ohio players. 1-8 is a single. Lou Klimchuk. 1-4 is a 1-6-3 double play. Chuck Hinton, 1-8 single. And Willie Smith, 3-10, bounces the second. In the bottom of the first, Kessinger will lead off 52. Skies to right. Glenn Beckert, 2-6 is a single. Billy Williams, 66, is a bouncer to short. This is Daryl Thomas, a 3-E38 at short, and that is a double play. 6-4-3. We go to the top of two. Ike Brown, lead it off, 2-11. Is a bouncer to third. J.C. Martin, 2-5, lines the second. And Dave Cash, 67, is a K. No Pappas. Jim Hickman, bottom of the second, 47 is a K. Ron Santo, 56, flies left. And Jose Ortiz, 55, bounces to second base. Top of the third, Gene Kleins, 44. Off the Pappas card, homer, one to seven, double. He rolls a seven, he does not have power, did not hit a home run in 1972 with that card. That's a single. He's a B stealer, Daryl Thomas. He's going to hit and run. It is a pop out on a hit and run. Johnny Jeter, 411, right X. Right fielder is Hickman's a 3E6 in right field. He makes the catch. You don't want to steal against the Cubs. They have Randy Hundley catching with a minus three arm. So Klein stays at first with two outs. Luke Klimchak's the batter. 2-8, pops a third. Bottom of the third, Randy Hundley, 39, walks. Ernie Banks, 58, flies the center. Del Unser, 2 5. Let's take a look at his card. Del Unser, uh, acquired in the offseason from the Texas Rangers slash Washington Senators in the Bill Hands trade. Uh, the Cubs were willing to get let 20 game winner Bill Hands go to the Rangers because they needed places for. Milt Pappas, Burr Hoot, and eventually Rick Russell to go, and they had too many righties along with Friggy Jenkins, so they let him go. And Del Unser came back as the Cubs didn't really have a decent center fielder at the time. Jose Cardinal was in St. Louis. So Del Unser, 2 5, is a single to right field. Hunley holds at second base. First and second, it's Kessinger. 2 4 is a 5 4 3 double play. Cubs shooting themselves in the foot again. Two double plays and three innings. Top of four, Chuck Hinton, 64, bounces to short. This is Kessinger. I think he's a 2E33. Let me just double check. 2E23. But he's out. Willie Smith, 210, single. Ike Brown, 1-5, is a walk. 2-1, one, one out for J.C. Martin. 210 is a 4-6-3 double play. Guys get on base, guys get erased by double plays. We've had four of them. Len Becker, 56, flies it left. Billy Williams, 42, second X. Cash is a 3E23, yes. 
and he makes the play. And with two outs, Jim Hickman, 47, is a K. We'll go to the fifth, scoreless. Dave Cash, 1-6. Take a look at Dave Cash's card. Yeah, he was a pirate in 70 and would continue. Eventually gets traded to the Phillies. But in this era, it made perfect sense for Cash to go to the super expansion Ohio players team. Because neither the Phillies nor the Pirates miss him. The Pirates would have Rennie Stennett. The Phillies would have, gosh, who'd they, who would they have? Terry Harmon, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, the Phillies didn't miss him. We'll get somebody. Dave Cash, 1-6. Triple, 1-12. to 12. That is a triple. Gene Kleins, 35. That's a single off of Gene Kleins, and it's 1-0. B. Steeler, Daryl Thomas is going to try and hit and run again. Hit and run. He gets the... Is it B to B? No, it's not. It's the double play. Sorry about that. That's the double play. He needed to use a C hit and runner, not a B hit and runner. And Kleins... Yeah. Tough one there. So with two outs now, it's Johnny Jeter. 64, bounce it a short, and Kessinger makes the play. Well, they get a run. one nothing Ohio. We get to the bottom of the fifth inning, but first let's uh, take a break for, uh, for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Okay. In the bottom of the fifth. It'll be Santo. 2-4. Center. Cubs got to get it started here. Their season is just like sands of the hourglass. So are the days of the Cubs' lives. They are just dwindling away here. If they don't get a win, Randy Hundley. I mean, again, we're still in the first half of the season, but the Cubs just keep playing, you know, lackluster baseball. Three up and three down. Being two hit by Al Downing. One nothing in the sixth inning. Here's Luke Klimchok. 48, base hit. Chuck Hinton. 65, center C. Willie Smith, 44. That is gone. Let's take a look at Willie Smith. Hit the homer off of Pappas' card. Oh, he has plenty of power. Willie Smith played for the Cubs in 69 in a fringe role there, platooning at first base. If there are any banks, probably. And this particular thing, two run homer. Makes it three to nothing. Ohio players. Man, Ike Brown, 65 center. This could be a story, baseball fans. In the American League North, where Detroit and the Indians and the Expos have been underwater, we have a super expansion team. Basically meaning that they have the last unclaimed, unprotected players off of other player teams' rosters. And they're getting the job done. J.C. Martin, 37. Single 1 to 10 is a single. Dave Cash, 2-8 is a ground ball to third. 3 nothing Ohio players. Bottom of the sixth inning, it's Ernie Banks. 57 is a K. Del Unser, 2-10, flies to right. And Kessinger, 3-10, flies to left. It might be time to get Kessinger out of the leadoff spot. With the amount of fireworks the Cubs have, they do not have the ignition system at the top. Kessinger at 266. But behind him, you got Beckert at 342, Willie, Billy Williams 322, Hickman's got 32 bombs at 315, Sano 29 29, Ortiz 295, Del Unser even is 286. It seems like Kessinger might be the worst hitter on this team. Maybe he should be batting ninth and not first. So, historically, he did bat first for him, so we kind of have that lineup presently. But that'll probably change if they lose this moving forward. Seventh inning now. Milt Pappas trying to protect just the three-run deficit here. Gene Kleins, 39K. Daryl Thomas, 2-5, grounds a second. John Jeter, 2-4, skies to center field. Ohio players with a three-run lead, knowing they're nine outs away from a two-game sweep. They're going to start pl plugging some defense in before the inning starts. Zoilo will play third base. Zoilo for Saiz. For Saiz. And Bill Robinson will come in for Gene Kleins. And that's their best defensive players. And Al Downing is nine outs away from a CGSO and series sweep for the Ohio players. But Glenn Beckert will lead off in the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch. Forgot to give you the music here today. We are listening to Curtis... 
The Curtis Live at the Bitter End in New York with a brick background. Um, 1971. Fantastic live record. Great recording of a live record, too. Uh, bottom of the seventh here. Glenn Becker, 47 is a K. Billy Williams, 5'11. Right X, who's in right. Chuck Hinton, he's a 3E something. 3E9 in right field. E9 makes the catch. High players are not slipping up here. Jim Hickman. 58 skies to center field. The listless Cubs are being two hit by Al Downing and down 3 nothing in the eighth inning. Pappas has made a couple mistakes. One to Willie Smith and that triple to Dave Cash. And that could be the story. All right. So, yeah. Zoilo Versailles will lead off. 1-3. Hit by the pitch. Chuck Hinton. 34. That's a 6-4-3 double play. And with two outs, Willie Smith. 1-6 is a K. The high players are going to try and win this game by overcoming hitting into four double plays in eight innings. So that would be a heck of an accomplishment. And the Cubs are only hitting two double plays. Total of six double plays in this game. Six outs to go. Al Downing, good bullpen. Tom Hall, Mudcat Krant, the other the setup guys. The long men aren't very good. Al Worthington, Sal Campisi. But with six outs to go... We won't let Downing lose this thing. Ron Santo, 6'10". Catcher's card. J.C. Martin's a 46. Four, that's not a, that's a 9. He's an E6. And that's a foul out. Jose Ortiz. 1-7. Jose with a double to right field. Randy Hunley. 37. Single one of three. Line out to short. He lines out on a 20. The big earn, Ernie Banks. We need you, Ernie, here. Uh, let's take a look at Ernie Banks' card. This is his 1970 card with 12 homers and 200 and some plate appearances, but it really is a higher slugging percentage in this year versus his 69 season when he hit 25 home runs. Higher percentage, fewer plate appearances in 1970. So here, here's Big Earn with um, a runner at second and two outs. Ernie Banks, 5-12 off of Al Downing is a fly out to right field. The three hitter continues. We'll go to the ninth inning. And uh, we'll take Milt Pappas out. Just something to do at this point. Uh, Ray Newman's going to come on in the ninth inning. He needs work. <laughs> Ray Newman's going to come in, face Ike Brown. J.C. Martin, Dave Cash. Here's Ike Brown leading off the ninth. 48 is single, one to 10, line to second. He gets a single. Batting for J.C. Martin will be the last guy on the bench. Their backup catcher, Dave Watkins. 2-10. Let's take a look at Dave Watkins' card. He was part of the Phillies in 69. This card will hit you a buck 76 every time. Uh, it's, this time it's a single to right field. Ike Brown will hold it second. This stuff is getting silly here. Two on, nobody out for Dave Cash. 52, second C. Now runners move up. Second and third for Bill Robinson. They'll bring the infield up. One four is a ground to the third. Runners have to hold. And with two outs, they really need to get Daryl Thomas out. 37 is single. One, two, seven. He rolls a six and gets a bloop single. That'll score just one run. Runners on the corners for John Jeter. 1-8, John Jeter. Let's take a look at John Jeter's card. This is the kind of guy you get in a super expansion set. A guy with 75 plate appearances. It's the only way that these expansion teams can get any quality players is to get guys who play in a limited sample size and achieve a lot. Uh, and they, if they can do it once every four years, then um, you can assemble a good team. The problem is that... It's like catching lightning in the bottle. You can't really keep renewing these guys because they didn't they don't last. I mean John Jeter just did not have a long enough career playing at this kind of level. Uh, one eight is double dot dot. That'll score Watkins second and third with two outs. It is now five nothing and it's Zoilo Versailles. Four five. Bouncer to short. This is Kessinger. And he makes the play. And if there's anybody left in Chicago. 
please turn the lights out at the end of the game. It's 5-0 in the ninth. Al Downing is going for it. The CGSO. So here's Del Unser uh, leading off. 1-4. Grounds a second. Don Kessinger. 48. Oh, he gets a hit off the Downing card. Double one of 14 is a double. Glenn Becker. This is the big 1971 where he hit 342. 66 is a K. And with two outs, it's Billy Williams. Let's take a look at Billy. Big 1970 with 42 bombs and a 322 average. Doesn't mean a lot in this year, though. Walks. Two on, two outs for Jim Hickman. 56. Hickman flies the left field off the downing card, and he gets the CGSO and embarrasses the Cubs, losing two straight to a super expansion team. Stunned Cubs. They were in second place last year. They'll be in fourth place this year. I don't think they ever got over 1969. One, two, three. Newman, four hits and two runs in the ninth inning. The guy was rusty, needed to work. Didn't really hurt the Cubs much. They didn't score. So uh, nine hits and three runs off Pappas, all earned. Two walks and three strikeouts. The story today, Al Downing. Four hits shutout. Two walks, five strikeouts, and a complete game. One double nine oh one. Give Pappas a loss here, not a win. There you go. One double oh nine oh one oh nine five thirteen oh four two three two five. That is game two, and the series is over. Two straight wins and a best of three. And for the America League North, that's big news because they were the worst, had the worst winning percentages of all the divisions, and it's up to the Ohio players to give that division some respect. I uh, didn't really anticipate the Cubs or the Cardinals competing in the National League North. Should be Reds Pirates, but right now it's just Reds and nobody. So year to date now, the Cubs are five and ten, playing like a five and ten store here. They're hitting 272, which is nice, but the ERA is 487. Fergie Jenkins is two and four. He's given up 27 runs in 48 innings. That's not very good, is it? And um, not seeing much offensively here. Ohio players, they're 10 and 8, hitting 274 with a 415 team ERA. Don Wilson, acquired in super expansion off the Houston roster, is 5 and 1, and uh, probably will make the All Star uh, squad, I'm guessing. Al Downing, that was his first win. He's now 1 and 2, but the reason he got moved into the 2 spot is because Doc Ellis is 0 and 4 with an ERA of around 9, 9.5. So that's the short story here. We have played 287 baseball games at this point. The league's hitting 261. It ticked up a bit with a 391 ERA. We got some offense from these uh, teams going interleague. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.